Media. Hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year to you and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. Have you ever built up a complicated edit on your Vegas Pro timeline only to realise that you need to put a clip at the beginning but there's no room? Well, moving all your clips across one by one would take forever. What you need is a quick and easy method of moving whole groups of clips or even the whole edit in one go. Well, it's easier than you think. Here's how. Here are two easy methods for moving clips on your timeline. Method one works best with simple two track edits and method two is better suited for more complicated multi track edits. So let's kick off with method one. So let's say you've got a simple two track edit like this and you need to insert this track here at the front of the edit. Simply click this button here and this will turn on something called auto ripple. Now this will allow you to move all the clips after the clip you select as one, maintaining their relative positions and spacings. Which means that grabbing and moving the first clip like this will move everything that comes after it. Which means I can create a space in which to slip the extra clip just like this. Now this only affects what comes after the selected clip. So supposing I wanted to put the extra clip in here instead. As long as ripple is turned on you can simply move this clip and all of those behind it, allowing you to seamlessly insert your new clip. Oh and don't forget to turn the ripple off when you've finished because it's very confusing to have your timeline ripple when you're not expecting it. Method 2 Method 2 is best for more complicated edits like this. So let's suppose you forgot to add your intro at the beginning of the edit. So you need to move the entire edit to give you room at the front. Well what you need to do is to press the D key on your computer keyboard. You will notice that pressing the D will cycle your cursor through four different options. The option we're looking for is the group selection cursor which looks like this. Once you've got it you can use your mouse to select the whole edit like this and move it anywhere you like, as easy as that. It's also great for grouping files together. If for example I wanted to group these files together, I can just select them like this, then press G for group on my keyboard and they are now grouped and wherever I move one the rest will follow. And of course if you need to ungroup them again simply select them and press the U key for ungroup on your keyboard. And when you've finished you can return your cursor to normal by simply pressing D to cycle through the four options until the standard cursor, which looks like this, reappears. So there you go, a nice quick tip to kick off the new year. If you liked it then don't forget to like, comment and share and if you haven't already done so then hit the subscribe thingy because that way I'll see you here next time and every time on, on The, the Media Channel. Channel.